Uh, so personally, I have been single for around six months and I have to say that I absolutely love it. <laughs> I can't believe that I just said that. <laughs> channel my name is Clara and I on this channel I make videos on love relationships motivation uh, positivity so if you're into anything like that please subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me in this video I will lay out four ways for you to start loving being single and to start living your single life the best way you can tip number one that I have for you is to know that you're the whole and complete just by yourself. Growing up, we are so familiar uh, with the idea of finding a soulmate or having a breeze charming, uh, someone that will come into our life and uh, miraculously make all of our problems disappear and that person will complete you somehow. And I think that it's so wrong. Because when we believe that someone else is going to come into our life and fulfill us, we externalize our power. We give the power that we have to someone that we don't even know. That we have no idea if that person is the right person for us. We give them all the power. It's like saying to yourself that it's wrong to be just by myself. That it's, uh, I'm not okay being with myself. And I need you to be here so that I can feel loved. That I need you to be here so that I can feel uh, appreciated. I need you to be here so that I can feel like my life has a purpose. I need you to be here to make me feel like I'm happy. Stop that. Just stop that, because baby, you are whole and complete 100% just by yourself. And I'm telling you that because it's true. I don't, I don't care how long you've been single for. I don't care if it's a month, six months, two years, four years, 10 years, 20 years, 25 years of your life. It's the same, baby. It's the same. I think that, you know, being single is such a great time in our life because imagine this. Singleness is temporary. It's likely that for the rest of your life, I don't know, like you can be single for another another month, another year, another two years, another five years. But from that point, for till the rest of your life, you're likely to always be with someone. You're likely to always be with your partner and your significant other and your spouse right so basically now being single is temporary it's the only time of our entire life to be single and to just focus fully on ourselves. and i think that is such an amazing opportunity practice the self-love the self-compassion and the self-worth the sense of self-worth and self-esteem and everything that is beautiful and realize that we are awesome we are whole and we are complete and we ain't need no one to come into our life and rescue us and to solve our problems and make us happy because we are capable of making ourselves happy i also want to talk about this idea of fighting the one um I do believe in it to some extent i do believe that the one the most important person uh, that's meant for me is me so the one for me is me and the one for you is you if you imagine that your dream partner waking up next to you telling you that they love you telling you that you're beautiful do all these sweet special things for you making you feel special taking out on dates um holding hand kiss you imagine that you do these things to yourself because the one is you. You can do all these things to yourself. You can wake up and tell yourself that you're beautiful. You can kiss yourself good night. You can kiss yourself good morning. You can take yourself out on date. Like, why not? I, I don't think that there's anything shameful or anything desperate about that. And when we meet someone that is the right person, we have two whole person that come together and make something 
really beautiful and special out of it and even if we part away even if we break up we leave the relationship as a whole person moving on to the second tip love yourself I know, I know, I know, everyone talks about self-love and how to love and appreciate yourself just the way you are. But in this video, I just have to mention it again. Because it's true. Babe, like, if you don't love yourself, how can you expect someone to come into your life and love you? A lot of people, including myself sometimes, who a lot of the time feel very insecure about how we look, about our body, about, you know, our face, our finance, our talent, um, and wonder if we ever, you know, make it in our life. And especially when we uh, compare ourselves to other people, it can be very uh, toxic to our mental health. But baby, it's so silly. It's so silly because when you just take a step back and look at what you have, right now you realize that you are so privileged and every part of yourself is perfectly made for you your eyes your face your body your hair your talent your hand your everything about you you are where you need to be love yourself baby i know that it sounds cheesy and i know that you can like be all cringe right now and just say that it's so impractical but it's baby step it can be a long process uh, it can be an ongoing journey for me uh, it's you know it's required practice every day it's not like one day you wake up and you love yourself and one day you wake up and you suddenly have a high self-esteem and believe in yourself and all that you know like it doesn't it doesn't happen like that if now you're insecure and you're not happy with yourself take your time know that it's gonna be a process uh, but the journey is worth it you know in the past i have all these uh ex-boyfriends and i gave them all my love i gave them everything that i had i just poured myself into the relationship and I realized now I realize that I lost myself in the process I I just gave gave and gave and gave and gave and just gave everything that I had when I got out of all these relationship and really spent time being single and really spent time to self-reflect I start to give myself the love that I deserve I start to give myself the attention that I want. I start to give myself the appreciation that I crave. And it's just day by day, I feel more at ease and more happy with myself and my current situation. And I realize that there's nothing wrong with, um, with going through life uh, by yourself, there's nothing uh, lacking about it. Self-love, you guys. Give yourself the love. Take care of yourself the way you want your partner to take care of you. Along with all those positive affirmations, focus on doing what you love. Uh, like I said in the first video of me doing what you love right here, you can check it out. Start doing what I love really helped me. Uh, I know it's like common sense, but like, you don't get it until you start doing it, yo. Like, for real, uh, for real. So if you love painting, go paint. If you love playing soccer, go play soccer. If you love, uh, I don't know, writing, go write. If you love studying, go study. If you love wearing a crazy shirt, wear the f***ing crazy shirt. Like, life is just too short to not do what you love, baby do what you love please and you will see that you don't need anyone any any anyone to to come into your life and and make you feel that way because you can make you feel that way just by doing what you love tip number three is to enjoy the moment enjoy the moment baby hands down this is the best time to focus on yourself and finding out 
who you are, fighting now what you're passionate about, what makes you happy. For some people, it may be uh, having your own business. For others, it may be singing, writing, coding, making music, um, you know, being an influencer, being an Instagrammer, being an YouTuber, you know, it can be anything. Anything that you uh, do that gives you this fire in you, do it more, do it more do it more until you know you wake up and you just can't wait to to get started you just can't wait to do more of it to have more of it uh, to dive right in and i i i love that i love the idea of you know intentional living and you know going out into the world with an intention of contributing of giving to the world your talent and your your love oh. I don't know, I can go on about this forever, but you get me, I think you get me, I think I've been talking for too much, but you get me. Anyway, thank you so, 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 so much for tuning in to this video. I hope that this video is helpful to you uh, in one way or another, that's my intention, and I wish you a very a uh, beautiful, loving, happy Valentine's Day with your special someone if you have one and more importantly, a very happy Valentine's Day by yourself. You know, join the gang. Um, I plan to spend Valentine's Day by myself and I, I have no problem with that. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna take myself out on dates. I'm gonna, you know, um, do all these things to make myself feel special i challenge you to make this valentine's to make someone else feel special as well um it can be your friend it can be um your a family member anyone that matter to you make them feel special make them feel loved um on this beautiful day <laughs> and as always if you enjoyed the video and if you want to please like share comment and subscribe to my channel it seriously means so much to me thank you again see you next saturday and i love you thank you so much for being here again i'm so freaking grateful for all of your support and i, I swear i go to bed every night and i'm like Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for my YouTube. I'm so grateful for my subscriber. I'm so grateful for my followers. We give our power to someone else you don't even know. For someone else that you don't even know. <laughs> oh. ah. It is so... I have braces, so like... <laughs> the wire keeps hurting my cheeks. <laughs> I have nothing in my mind right now. You desperately want to find someone or desperately- Ah! Stop touching your hair, Clara! Fighting the ones and... Know that the one is for you. The one is you.